Hello, my very most beautiful Sagittarius. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your February predictions. This is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So guys, if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do have personals open. I also have a sale on personals right now for Valentine's Day. You can ask three love related questions for $20 or five for 35. Um, I do have regular personals available as well. And everything that you guys are going to need to know is going to be in the description box below for you. So, Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my very most beautiful Sagittarius, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Sagittarius energy, a very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my lovelies, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. The first row is going to be love and romance, and the second row is going to be all the other energies that could be at play, any messages that Spirit has for you. Okay, I really like this. I really like this a lot. We got the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So this looks really nice. Let's take a look here. I'm going to grab another deck so we can clarify as we go too. But we have the Two of Wands in the reverse and the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles is a card of establishment. Um, like he's been there for so long. You know, that you can't even really tell where there's, look at all this greenery, all this growth around. You can't even really tell where, you know, he begins and his environment begins. It's all just kind of together. It's how long he's been there. Um, the two of wands in the upright can talk about needing to leave a comfort zone, um, leave something behind to go in a new direction. He's standing on top of the castle, which is his home. It's where he's always been. Castles in the tarot represent home comfort and security. Um, so he can be a little bit fearful when it comes to leaving behind what he's known, you know, the place that he's always been, where he's established at, to go in a new direction. But that's what he has to do in order to become the emperor. He is a young emperor here. Um, so with that in the reverse, I feel like there could be some hesitation in leaving some kind of, some kind of, you know, establish. How I word that? Something that you have established, something that you, you know, find comfort and security in. You know, there could be some fears about leaving that behind. But the Ten of Swords in the reverse can talk about something that is being drug out a lot longer than it should be, okay? And there is a new day dawning in the Ten of Swords, but it's almost like you can't get there if you're too afraid to, you know, leave something that deep down you know it's time to, you know, leave behind. And I feel like there's a lot of comfort and security. This is what you've always known. Some of you guys could be married, you know, but there's definitely something here where, um, you know, that's the fear that's kind of holding you back is leaving that comfort and security behind. Even though with the Ten of Swords showing up in the reverse, this is something that's just been very drug out a lot longer than it should be. We have the Empress here and then the Knight of Pentacles. So not taking any action here. Um, it's trying to, like, the Knight of Pentacles is... He is so thorough. Like, he leaves no stone unturned. He really figures everything out. But because of that, things take him a very long time to achieve. And you can see his horse isn't taking any, isn't moving at all. He's not taking any action at all. But there's, like, unlimited potential here. Okay, there's unlimited potential. The fields are bare. He can do whatever he wants. I feel like there's something here um, where it's very much like that for you. Okay, it's like you're coming out of the darkness. You can see the dark horse against this, like, very bright yellow sky so it's like coming out of the darkness into like this new day i'm really drawn to how it's the same kind of color scheme in the ten of swords so it's like after this ending it's like yeah the end is here but it's also a new day dawning it's also a brand new beginning and you're going to be coming out of the darkness something that's taking you a really long time to do um moving really towards um abundance towards growth towards you know just a really beautiful energy um, so I do like this, but I feel like you do have to, in order to, like, obtain this, um, you do have to um, leave something behind, okay? Leave a comfort zone. Take a chance. That energy is even playing out down here as well. Um, you have the full card, so taking a chance, freeing yourself, okay? Lots of beautiful, bright colors here, okay? But there is. It's something that you've known for a long time. Um, you can see the castle in this card, too, representing home, comfort, and security, so let's let's clarify some things. 
Tell me about this Two of Wands in the reverse. Tell me about this Two of Wands in the reverse. The Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel like there's a need to really go within. Okay, really go within. Because I feel like there could be some fears about um, either you getting hurt in walking away from something or hurting somebody else. I'm, gonna, I'm really drawn to the three swords that are here. But as you can see, they're not piercing him, even though these three swords are here. And they're not piercing him because he's laying on this one. He's laying under on the wisdom, on the truth, okay? Um, so I do feel like there could be some fear surrounding... You know, either you getting hurt or you hurting somebody else and walking away. Um, but you have that truth. You know that it's the right thing to do for you. You know what's best. And honestly, other people deserve to be, we deserve, everybody deserves to be with somebody who's crazy about them. To be with somebody who wants to be with them, who isn't being with them out of fear of hurting them or fear of obligation. You know, the person that you're, that you're with, they deserve to be with somebody who feels that way about them. Okay? Um, so, there's that. It's something that I feel like it... Let's go with this. Ten of Swords in the reverse. Tell me why the Ten of Swords is in the reverse. Ooh, they're not taking that many. Tell me why the Ten of Swords is in the reverse here. The Nine of Swords. Yeah, so you haven't been able to just end something. It's been getting drug out because you've been to in your head, even though you've already woken up to this truth. Okay, I'm really, really drawn to the fact that there's this sword here, that wisdom, that truth. Um, if you add that to the Nine of Swords, you know, you have that Ten of Swords. So you have that truth that you need to close this out, but you know, it's, it's stressful and it's, there's been too many fears and two things, but you have woken up to that truth already. And now it's just time to take action. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles energy, the hermit. So gaining that wisdom, shining his light. I like how the hermit is up here and he's facing all of this. He's facing, you know, how much time has passed, how, like the truth. He's just facing the whole situation um, after of overcoming it. And now it's coming out of that darkness. And I, I really like this for you. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Give me one more. The Six of Cups. Here. Yeah, you're really allowing, and you could have a lot of love for this person. This could be somebody that you've known for a very long time, known since childhood, or you just have a deep soulmate connection with. But um, I feel like you're really looking at the whole connection, and I think you're seeing where the past and the history that you guys have is what's kept you here, not the current moment or not the future that you want either. Tell me about this Empress energy. Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're creating a brand new beginning for yourself. You're creating a brand new opportunity for yourself, a brand new beginning. That's what you're moving. You're stepping out of this darkness and into a, a you know a brand new life that you're creating for yourself, especially when it comes to love, okay? Um, a really beautiful energy here, but it does it does come at a cost of having to, you know, do already what you know you need to do. It's just taking action, and sometimes that can be difficult, but I feel like you guys already know what you need to do here. So we're going to take a look down here. I'm going to grab another deck. So, we have the full card, taking a chance, feeling very free, the temperance. So something that you guys have been, you have the temperance over here as well. So you guys are being divinely guided. I do feel like you guys are transforming not just your love life, but you're stepping into like an entire new life, okay? And you guys are being divinely guided to do so. Okay, and creating a new path. Tell me about this Ten of Cups energy. The Knight of Pentacles. You really just can't make this stuff up. So you guys really are, you know, moving towards emotional fulfillment. And I do feel like it's more than just in love. It's like a whole new life, okay? And then it's, it starts because you are taking that chance to free yourself and to go after the things you want. Um, and you're being divinely guided. And it literally does transform your whole life. Um, the Temperance card is... The alchemical process of transforming one thing to another okay so you're transforming your whole old way of being to a brand new thing bringing in so much happiness and it really does all come from um that action that you're taking you know this is something that's been a long time coming tell me about the strength card the eight of swords finding the strength to kind of break those chains to you know where you've been keeping yourself stuck and limited tell me about this temperance energy 
And, you know, this is your energy, Sag, temperance. And it's showing up twice. You're showing up in a very powerful position. Six of Wands, success, getting lots of attention, um, being recognized as well here. So I do feel like this could play out in other areas of your life as well. It's like the same energy is like coursing through. You know, so this could play out at work, getting a lot of attention and recognition on something that you guys have been really patient for. Maybe you've been really waiting for a certain promotion or for a certain job or waiting for somebody at, at work to recognize you. You know, I feel like that's this energy is playing out in more than one area of your life, and I really do like this for you. So this is what I have for you guys. If it resonates, let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising and Venus can actually resonate more than your sun sign does. If you guys like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. But most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, you guys can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I'm sending so much love and light. Until next time.